Hello, it's uh, Brad Rivers here, the uh, MLA for District 18 West of Glamorola. I'm down here on uh, Millvale Road in the heart of uh, the proposed route for new uh, 69,000 volt power transmission lines. And I think uh, at the root of the issue is that really the way that people in the community found out these lines were, were planned to go here was when they started cutting down trees on, on property along the road. And uh, that is indeed what the problem is with our government. They're not open, they're not transparent, they're not about representing people, they're about telling people what to do and furthering their own agenda. Um, we've seen that at the roundabout in Stanley Bridge, and now we're seeing it here. And of course, there's a lot more at stake in a project like this. We're talking uh, about major potential health risks to people. And if there were solutions that you know Maritime Electric had in mind, they had never ever talked to anyone about them and that, that's a huge issue so so now we have a, an amazing community that's being mobilized to to get the message out that they are the ones that control what's going to happen to their community and they need to be listened to and they they have great solutions for for how you know power needs to be put in so that we can service the power needs because let's face it we do need a solution for power um, but that also speaks to a, a larger problem and that's that the province, uh, if they do have a plan for how they're going to uh, move forward with energy in this province, they're not sharing it with the people. It's being it's behind closed doors. It's the Minister of uh, Transportation, Infrastructure and Energy working with the Premier, and most likely even the Premier working with his advisors to decide what happens. Now, to their credit, they have uh, put out an RFP for a renew renewable energy strategy, and they're figuring out a way to move forward instead of building a 68 or buying a 68 million dollar diesel generator so that was a huge step forward and i think that the opposition was a, was a big part in making that happen but why are we going ahead with big projects like this when we don't even know what our energy plan is going forward uh, especially without consulting that community so that, that's that's the root of the the cause now um, to their credit maritime electric has uh, postponed any any work they stopped any tree trimming right away as soon as the complaints were made um, they they aren't going to proceed with anything until after the public consultation on april 12th and by the sounds of things they won't be able to do anything until the fall and uh i'm really optimistic that they are going to listen and do what the community wants i honestly i don't think they're going to have any choice because of the uh, the great uh, organization that's going on here today i don't know if you can hear behind me there's probably Oh, 30 or 40 people from the community out here and they're making signs and they're getting ready to let the government and Maritime Electric know exactly how they feel about this project.